Hello everyone! Welcome back to Harvest Moon 64! Let's start by checking the weather. Of course, we have yet another sunny day on our hands! Okay, so we just had the horse races and of course we have the Goddess Festival coming up here near the end of spring, so that is kind of excited. We'll get our vote in to see who we want to be the Goddess this year. Good morning, Luna. Oh, I'm so excited that our potatoes are done. Hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more recipes done today. Okay, Luna, here is some breakfast for you. Enjoy. And Jack, we didn't quite do as well in the horse races as I would have liked, but you know, we did make good progress, so count our blessings while we can. Okay, a few potatoes in the bag, so that is fantastic. And let's check on our barn animals today. Pokey, how are you doing? Wonderful. And Snowy. <laughs> you guys are so adorable. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can safely get your feed into the bins here. <laughs> it's like the current ongoing problem. <laughs> Too much of a rush and just can't seem to slow down. Okay, Pokey, here we go. Large milk, fantastic. And off to the chickens we go. Oh, got a bunch of grass we could cut down too. It's going to be a busy day for us, I think. Alright, eggs in the shipping bin. It's always a good feeling during spring, summer, and fall. We have a bunch of forageables we can hand out as gifts so we can actually ship our eggs during those seasons. It's just winter that we really need to be using our eggs in order to hand out gifts. Of course, if we loaded our cabinet with a bunch of flowers, we'd be able to hand those out during winter too. Not a big deal. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Our first of the day. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, are we stuck? There we go. Too many eggs and chickens everywhere. <laughs> but we like a full coop, so, you know, it's worth it. Alright, I think we have one egg left to grab here. Fantastic. Oh, and I dropped it. <laughs> I guess I'm just in too much of a hurry today. My goodness, I'm all excited to make more progress today. Okay, I think we had some potatoes left to water, so we'll do that. There's not a whole lot here for grass, so why don't we chop that down so it can just keep on growing. It's only like 9 a.m. anyway. And then we'll head off to town and see how many of these characters we can run into that we need to hand off potatoes to. Oh, and let's grab a cabbage for Maria since we are trying to trigger her confession event if we can do it. Okay, full inventory. Oh my goodness, I do apologize guys. I am still getting over a cold. I was really hoping it was over and then it seems like it is like on a second wind all of a sudden. I think I got like one whole day of no coughing, but then the sore throat kicked in and ugh, it's just terrible. Okay, into the church. When you learn how to read books, you can read signs too. And I think you would like a potato. Whoa, thanks! This is my mom's recipe. She wrote it down so I could cook it too when I grew up. I still can't read some parts though. Got the potato pancake recipe. Oh, see you. I wish I only had to study about things I like and need. Well, I think we kind of all wish that was the case, but the good news is, is that you can. Thanks! See ya! I mean, you do have to learn what you need to in school, but I want to learn how to read books! I bet you would like a flower. Whoa, is this for me? Thanks! Bye bye The good news is, is that if there is something you want to learn, you can always find time to go out and learn it. I've lived a long time, but I still feel like I have a lot to learn. I think we all feel that way, but again, the important thing is you can find the stuff you want to learn if you try. For me, really, thank you. Good luck. I mean, a year ago, there's no way I would be running a YouTube channel whatsoever. I was always so intimidated 
by just not knowing where to start. It's really, it's real busy at the start of the year, eh? I think you would like a potato too. Oh, thank you. I like potatoes. Let me give you a good potato recipe. Try it next time. Got the fried potatoes and bacon recipe. That sounds yummy. I'm counting on you. The craft shop doesn't have much selection because they only sell the things they like. <laughs> Fair enough. Would you like a potato? Thank you very much. Let me teach you the dish my grandma often cooked. It's pretty easy. Got the garlic potato beef recipe. That also sounds good. Let's both do our best. Right, so we're just like on a roll with the recipes. In the spring, I often get drowsy while I'm reading. Would you like a cabbage? Thank you very much. I like cabbage very much. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. So yeah, it's just kind of funny. Oh. Oh, what? Wait, wait. Oh, I have something to tell you, Pip. I had never said this before, but I'm a little braver now. I, I, I like you. This is the first time I've felt this way, so I really wanted to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, that is so precious. I'm so happy to like you. Okay, so I think that was Maria's confession. That is adorable. Oh. All right, let's head off to the mountains. I didn't think we would get that so quickly. I thought that was going to be a bit more of a fight into the week, but that's fantastic. Kane seems to like you. Oh, was I going to give a potato to anybody else? Uh, I don't think so. Is it okay? Thank you. Um, no, never mind. See you later. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's you. Spring is good because it's the season when all life gets reborn. Let's both try our best. So yeah, I got so intimidated just because I didn't know where to start. But the truth of it is, it really doesn't matter where you start. I kind of just needed a good push. <laughs> because I just felt so overwhelmed at the start because I'm like, well, what do you even look into first? We're off on Tuesdays. If you need extension work, come and see me anytime except then. Oh, thank you. I love the mountains. So, what I ended up doing was just, uh, YouTubing it, really. <laughs> and just kind of figuring out step by step what I needed to get started. Whoa, thank you. I feel good when I drink fruit alcohol. We are happy today, too. So it's just like learning what I needed to actually do recording in general, like, how to record a game, how to edit a video, and then, you know, just YouTube in general. How do you go about uploading and stuff like that? And of course, once you do it once, it gets so much easier. It's just taking that first initial step, and that is so true of just about anything that you come across. <laughs> and what it really comes down to is whether or not you're okay with letting yourself hold you back, because... Really, that's all that's in the way of getting in between what you want and where you're at is just yourself, really. Are you willing to put in the time? Do you have the drive? Can you stay committed to keeping going forward with what you want? And it's all very good, valid questions because we all want to spend our time on the things that matter most to us. Thank you. Keep the shipping schedule in mind when growing vegetables. Otherwise, you may not be able to harvest what you sow. <laughs> well, see you. I think that was some new dialogue for him. I understand their daughter's feelings. There are many things in the city you don't find here. I've felt those longings. Now, we get this a lot from Kai, and I wonder if we talked to him at the vineyard, if we'd actually open up some new dialogue. Oh, thank you very much. Phew, that's enough for today. I guess people are missing something if they don't have a mother. 
Oh, thank you. I start grumbling when I drink too much. What do you think about Ellie? Is that so? Well, please do right by Ellie. Uh, what would you like? Maybe one of these. Oh, thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, Karen. Grandma's wine is highly regarded. Why is our wine so different, even though we're using the same grapes? Karen, we fixed this problem for you. Don't make us feel bad here. Anyway, I hope he'll be happy. You too. Oh, what? For me? Thanks. This is a place to relax. Come here anytime, but don't drink too much. Whoop. <clears throat> So yeah, I think what it really boils down to is maybe even breaking down the thing you want to do into smaller chunks so it seems less intimidating. Just start off small and try not to get overwhelmed. Just focus on like very tiny little pieces here and there is kind of how I've managed to be able to do what I'm doing. Like I didn't go and need to take a massive editing course to find out how to edit a video. I kind of just went, what are the basics and start from there. And of course, I don't do tons of fancy editing in my videos. I am just not there yet. And that's okay. Maybe one day I'll, like, I can make more jazzed up videos if I choose to or if I decide I want to further improve that skill. The good news is, is that I know it's there if I want to be able to look into it on my own. <laughs> All right, what is the weather going to be like? Sunny again tomorrow. <laughs> oh my goodness, these sunny days, they are, <laughs> they're quite interesting. Hey! Hi, Pip. Do you know the flower festival? We sure do. Yes, they're voting for the goddess in the square. Be sure to cast your ballot. So, see you at the festival. Oh my goodness, who do we vote for? Now, whoever ends up being the goddess, voting for the goddess is being held now. Please vote when you drop by the square. No mail today. So whoever ends up being the goddess is going to have to dance with the Harvest King, who this year is going to be Cliff, so maybe we'll vote for Anne. There we go. And let's do our little bit of watering here. There we go. And let's see our wonderful little animals this morning. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of interesting when you just break up the things that you want to learn into smaller pieces. Lately, I've been interested in just video game design and I know absolutely nothing about it whatsoever. Which I guess could be kind of intimidating, but I'm just so interested in it, like I'm not I don't have high expectations out of it. Like I'm not pressuring myself that I'm gonna have to do something absolutely fantastic with it. What the goal is just to dip my toes in the water and kind of see what it's all about and see if it is something that I actually enjoy or not. And in doing that, it kind of just takes the pressure off and gives you the ability to go and explore the topics of what video game development actually entails without feeling overwhelmed and stressed about it. You can just approach it with a sense of fun, which is really important. And of course, I'm not trying to do anything too fancy. I'm just in the process of researching, you know, what kind of game engines there are available and, you know, the limitations of what each can do, what's a good beginner platform and all of that kind of fun stuff. So you kind of look into that and then once you kind of decide from there, it's like, okay, how do I get started with the very basic things? And that's always fun too because this is where you can actually start growing your skill and seeing some progress. So I haven't actually downloaded the game engine yet. It is on my to-do list. I kind of wanted to get myself a little bit fired up for it beforehand. So just learning like 
how to get a character in a game and make it move. So I kind of watched a tutorial on that, so I have that basic knowledge. So now I'm even more excited to just take that first step into getting that game engine and seeing if I can make a character move based on what I learned. So I'm kind of really excited about that. Oops. <laughs> You know, Basil named Potpourri. She was born the day before the flower festival, but he was calling her that long before she was even born. <laughs> There's just a bit of a typo there. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Well, take care. So yeah, it's kind of cool because in researching all of this stuff and getting to see what it all entails gives me like a higher appreciation for the video games I've been playing. What day is it? Saturday? Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really kind of excited just to take the small little steps and get to see my progress and celebrate it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm trying not to depend on God because there's only one God and lots of people. I don't think God grants people too many requests, so I'm going to treasure my requests. That's really sweet. Thanks. See ya. Why is the sunset red? Oh my goodness, that's a good question. I don't know. Why is this for me? Thanks. Bye-bye. I'm sure there's a very cool scientific answer. <laughs> Who will be a goddess of the flower festival this year? Cast your votes. You make the decision. All right, and I think we'll vote for you. Thank you for voting. Okay, so we're not going to purchase the blue feather until we are ready to get married. So that'll happen in summer. I like spring. The warm weather feels good. Thank you. I like you a lot. See you. I like how I'm just like packing a potato around. I'm not quite sure who I want to give it to yet. <laughs> and I've been meaning to grab some corn out of our freezer to give to Basil because I think we get a recipe if we give him one. Okay, let's go see Sasha while I'm thinking of it. Karen. Oh, she's so sad. We'll give her a flower to cheer her up. Oh, thank you. Good job. Keep up the good work. Now, we haven't given her many gifts, but her dialogue seems to have changed a bit. What? What do you have to do? Don't ask me silly things, okay? Are you sure? Thanks. See you. I was afraid of taking responsibility for failure, so I always ran away. But not anymore. I'll do it. That's a good step forward. Doesn't it feel good to work so hard you want to collapse? Um, it kind of depends on what you're working on. <laughs> when you're doing something that fulfills you and you really truly enjoy, it does feel good to work that hard. Well, thank you very much. It's a nice season. I can enjoy the scenery while delivering the mail. Let's both do our best. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's you! Spring is good because it's the season when all life gets reborn. Let's both try our best. Okay, Cliff, come back here. Is it okay? Thank you. I hatched Cain from an egg, so he thinks I'm his father. Um, no, never mind. See you later. <laughs> Oh, right. Let's chop down some wood here. And another piece. Oh, a cute little squirrel. Okay, would you like something? Oh, thank you. We're off on Tuesdays. If you need extension work, come see me anytime except then. <laughs> okay, so Saturday is our last night that we can get into the bar before Sunday. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I'm like stuffed up and I can just, <laughs> I can only imagine what it's doing to my voice. It's a little funny. Oh, it's like the never ending cold. <laughs> At some point, it's got to go away, right? <laughs> it's like everybody just keeps getting sick and it just keeps circling through the house and it's terrible. <laughs> 
Whoa, thank you. You know, the red sparkly thing that tastes sweet and sour, it increases your energy. We are happy today too. Well, we like knowing that everyone is happy. All right, let's head off to the bar and see who's around tonight. We haven't seen Gray at the bar very much lately. He's kind of like really hit or miss. Whew. Okay, away we go. And into the bar we go. Oh, lots of people here today. And there's Gray. That's so funny. Spring vegetables will die when summer comes. Sell them before then. Oh, he's very concerned about our crops. Thank you. Well, see ya. Okay, I'm like, who have we not gifted here? Oh, here we go. Anyway, I hope you'll be happy. You too. Well, in the end, we want everyone to be happy. Oh, what? For me? Thanks. This is a place to relax. Come here anytime, but don't drink too much. Don't talk to me. Oh, Gray, come on. You like us. You just don't want to admit it. <laughs> See ya. Grandma's wine is highly regarded. Why is our wine so different, even though we're using the same grapes? Karen, should we give you some extra gifts too? Cut. I love this. I'm so happy. See you later. All right, let's see if I can actually remember to put some recipe items into our bag before we go to sleep tonight. <laughs> that seems to be the thing that is holding us up here, but we do have a lot of recipes now. Hi, Luna. I suppose we can probably ship some of our cabbage since we shouldn't need to give any more gifts to Maria. She should be maxed out now. Okay, we'll do one more and then crawl into bed. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, what's this? I have a favor to ask you. Man to man. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Would you let me stay here tonight? Oh, what happened? I had a fight with Grandpa. You know, I'm saving money to run a farm. He said kids shouldn't do such things. He scolded me so hard, I just had to run away. When do children become adults? Isn't it better to prepare ahead of time? Is studying more important? Oh, I don't know. It's, this is hard. It's good to prepare for the future, but it's also important to study. You kind of need to do both. Um, not always. I want to do what I want to do. I wonder why Grandpa got angry. <gasps> Brother, it's an emergency. Grandpa's sick. <gasps> oh my goodness, what is happening? Grandpa, Grandpa, don't go. He's okay now. Be quiet. He's sleeping. Grandpa, I'm sorry. I'll save money and... It makes old people sad to see kids worry about money, but you're good boys. Grandpa, sniff, sniff. Brother, I've been thinking about things, but when I'm confused, can I go to you again? Um, of course. I'm okay now. You're pretty busy, huh? Oh, that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that event before. That is absolutely amazing. Clearly, I did not befriend the kids well enough in previous games <laughs> or previous playthroughs. That was really neat. Although I was a little scared that the potion shop dealer was going to pass away. And I'm like, no, we've been working so hard to make sure everyone survives. <laughs> so I'm glad it sounds like he's going to be okay. <laughs> All right, that, that was quite the interesting little event there. I love those things about this game. Like, to me, it's what makes this game so unique and special. It's just all those little touches. 
All right, tomorrow's forecast will be clear. Oh, of course it will be. <laughs> I don't even know why we check the TV anymore. <laughs> All right, Luna, we had some visitors last night, didn't we? That was quite interesting. Let's get you a little snack here. All right, pink cat mint seeds have arrived. We will be sold at the flower festival. Florist Lilia, no mail today. I'm very excited. Summer is just about here and that will mean we'll be able to start working on Potpourri's photograph with the blue mist flower. So that is exciting. We're gonna have so much money. We're not gonna know what to do with it all here pretty soon. And let's get the potatoes watered. They should be done before the season ends. And we have lots of seeds for the greenhouse if we do realize we need something else later. Although maybe I should double check, but I'm pretty sure we've got lots of everything. And we'll do the same with the summer seeds. We are not gonna take any chances here. All right, here you go, Snowy. <clears throat> But yeah, it's so great that you can play a game so many times and still keep finding stuff that you've never seen before. I think that is absolutely wonderful. We're gonna have to grow ourselves some pink cat mint seeds. <laughs> I'm glad in later games I just called them pink cat seeds and took the mint part out because it just seems too long of a name. Okay. Oh, chickens, are you guys happy this morning? Oh, goodness. We've had quite an interesting uh, weekend here. All right, what are we going to do? Here we go. Um, yeah, we had a our poor little guinea pig. Is fine. Well, he was really old. He was almost eight years old. And uh, he kind of just suddenly went downhill, so we actually had to get him put to sleep this weekend, which is really sad, but you just don't want the little guy to suffer. And of course, having to do something like that on a long weekend is always a little expensive because you're paying like after hour fees. But honestly, when it comes to an animal's health and pain and just overall quality of life, like you just, you really can't put a price on that. <laughs> like... It was expensive, yes, but it was worth paying. You just don't want to see any any animal suffering, so it's kind of hard. For the first time in, I think, over a decade, I don't have any pets because we still haven't felt like we need... We know we want another dog at some point, but uh, we just haven't quite reached that point yet since Luna passed away, so... We're going to be petless for a while, which is going to be an interesting change because we're so, I'm so used to having a pet around all the time. <laughs> and then of course our little one is uh, all about the puppies right now. <laughs> so if we ever did get a puppy, I'm sure there would be a lot of excitement there. Thank you very much. Is it really okay? Did you cast your flower festival vote yet? I'd be glad if you did. We sure did. I'm counting on you. We select a goddess before the flower festival. Please cast your vote. No worries, we have. Oh, whoa, thank you very much. How are you? I think everybody wants to be kind. You know, I think so too. For me, really, thank you. Good luck, but I think part of the problem is, is sometimes we get so wrapped up in what is going on in our lives that we sometimes forget to be kind to other people. And it's not like an intentional thing. You're just so involved in what you're currently experiencing that you don't have time to have that compassion and empathy for other people. If you don't have a sweetheart, it's either because you haven't met the right girl or you don't have room in your heart yet. Oh, we are getting closer to getting married and that's very exciting. Thank you, but you should bring it to a young girl, not me. All life is steady, steady, gain lots of experiences. 
And let's check on the potion shop dealer and make sure- Oh, closed on weekends. Oh, puppy! Oh, can we just take you home? You are adorable. <laughs> A little mini Luna. I don't know where the other puppy went, so I'm kind of sad that we're only seeing the one. Alright, let's grab some more things. There doesn't seem to be too many people out here today. Let's give you something. Flower, flower. That reminds me, if I'm correct, its favorite flower is... Big sky blue swallowtail. I heard it's been spotted around Moon Mountain here. He is very eagerly awaiting the butterfly sighting. Hi, have you gone fishing yet? You know, we've gifted you a fish. You know we've gone fishing. Oh, thank you very much. Well, life is long. We should live with a little slack. We're off on Tuesdays. If you need extension work, come and see me anytime except then. Okay, if we give you a fish, will you give us a recipe? Hey, thanks. I'll teach you how to eat fish. My boss might get angry about such fancy cooking, but I'm sick of eating the same grilled fish all the time. <coughs> Got the grilled trout cheese recipe. Ooh. I love the mountains. Now, I wasn't entirely sure if he was going to give us that recipe or not. Because I kind of saw that there could have been like a couple different people to maybe get that from. Oh, here's Ken out and about again. Hey, I'm looking for medicine plants today. My grandpa asked me. Well, how about we give you one? Thanks. See ya. Oh, Cliff's here too. Is it okay? Thank you. If you have something to protect, you feel pressured. Uneasy. Um, no, never mind. See you later. Mm, I don't know if I completely agree with that. I mean, when you have something to protect, I think, well, I know from my experience, I feel more driven, maybe, and maybe just a bit more more aware of what's going on like I don't know maybe it's just like mama bear <laughs> brain conditioning there <laughs> hello thank you you know the red sparkly thing that tastes sweet and sour it increases your energy we are happy today too yeah I think it really just comes down on your perspective of how you're looking at things because like the viewpoint of protection, you can look at it from a couple different angles. Like Cliff's looking at it as like an uneasy, maybe almost negative thing where he is a little leery about having to care for somebody else. Whereas for me, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't look at it as a negative thing. I look at it as something to be grateful because if you have something to protect, that means that you have some extra joy and fulfillment in your life because you have something to protect that you don't want to lose. Oh, no, we better, we better keep that for Luna's breakfast there. Let's not ship that, hey? There we go. Good night, Luna. All right, maybe we'll be able to hunt down Basil tomorrow. He's hiding on us. Another sunny day? Yep. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's going to rain at some point, right? It's getting to that point where we might just not be able to see and sick day. I can't say that I can recall ever having so much trouble triggering her sick day. Best wishes for the new year, Maria. I like how those take like all spring to trickle in. It's cute. I'm not sure where Jack went. We should maybe hunt him down too. We did equip a brush, so we're okay. <laughs> Pokey, I will not hit you with a bad tool. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Snowy, you are fed. And Pokey, here we go. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get you milked. And then we'll tend to some chickens, and then we'll see who we can hunt down for gifts. We should probably go up to the vineyard and see Sasha. Because she is so out of the way and hidden. Oh, looks like we have more grass up and about already. Okay, lots of chickens, lots of eggs. <laughs> I'm going to be tripping over tri 
chickens and eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh. <clears throat> oh, they're quite lively today. Pick a chicken up, set it down, watch it flap and walk around. Oh, no. That one just decided to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, there you go. Should probably think about purchasing some more grass seed. We haven't even gotten all of our grass seed planted yet. We should probably focus on that too. Um, yeah, it might be like time to start looking at upgrading our hoe to the full level there. Because that would definitely make it go a little bit faster. Because right now we can just do three squares, I think, at a time. <clears throat> All right, let's get this grass cut down. Pokey and Snowy are going to be very well fed. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing this festival is coming up because we are starting to run out of flowers. I can't believe how quickly we've gone through all the flowers. Oh, we don't want to be gifting any weeds. Okay, let's see who we can find. Right, we checked the mail. <laughs> it's like one of those things where I'm like, I'm leaving the farmyard. There's a red mailbox here. Have we actually looked at it? And we're doing okay with avoiding Ellen, so I'm very happy about that. I've only been tempted a few times. <laughs> Hi, Pip. Flowers are good. Really? How do you feel about corn? Oh, thank you. Let me teach you how to make corn pasta. It's delicious with freshly picked corn. Got the corn pasta recipe. Let's both try our best. You know, Basil named Potpourri. She was born the day before the flower festival, but he was calling her that long before she was even born. Well, take care. Oh, look at us being such wonderful, productive members of society here. <laughs> when you learn how to read books, you can read signs too. And we still have to check on the potion shop dealer. We never got to see him yesterday. Thank you, I like you a lot. See you. Didn't you hate studying too? It was okay. Oh, really? <laughs> Seems like he needs a little encouragement. Thanks. It'll be great when I can read books by myself. Oh, whoa, is this for me? Thanks, bye-bye. I've lived a long time, but I still feel I have a lot to learn. Well, the important thing is, is that you don't get discouraged. <laughs> I don't know, I just think the characters in this game have so many wonderful, supportive things that they enjoy saying, like the whole, don't be discouraged and don't do absurd things, or maybe you do need <laughs> to do an absurd thing once in a while just to try it out and see how it goes take care of your body don't depend on medicine eat right get lots of sleep live life the right way and you won't catch cold but if everyone did like that i wouldn't have much business <laughs> oh yeah very true but you know we're doing our best not to catch that cold oh thank you very much don't do absurd things just because you're young Oh, the little puppy. Yeah, I think that little puppy needs to come and join us on the farm. <laughs> oh, Karen's here today. All right, Sasha. Ha oh, I wish she would talk more. We really don't get to find out much about her. Thank you. You've made me happy. Be good to Karen. Good job. Keep up the good work. What? Why do you have to do, do? Don't ask me silly things, okay? See you. Oh, he didn't even say the whole work hard spiel. Are you sure? Thanks. Hey, he didn't do the whole why are you giving this. I think he's finally warming up to us, everyone. That's exciting. 
We've had a lot of little bits of excitement in this video so far, like Maria's confession, we voted for the goddess, we got an event that I didn't even know existed in the game. I suppose I should say I come to the mountains to drink tea rather than to fish. Aw, it sounds like he's having about as much luck fishing as we've had. Oh, thank you! When I'm tired, I drink a cup of tea. It warms and refreshes my body and spirit. I'm hoping we'll catch some of these bachelors at the bar later. <laughs> oh, goodness. Appreciate the food you get from mountains. Never just throw away what you've picked. You know, anytime we throw away something, it's usually an accident. Oh, thank you very much. Take care of yourself. If you build the stairs so that you can come out on the roof, it'll be great. It's as good as a second floor. Okay. Oh, thank you. I love the mountains. Oh, Ellie's here too. That guy fishing over there, Greg, knows all about fishing. Take care. Um, yeah, have any of you ever built the staircase and then put your chickens on the roof? <laughs> I can't remember fully, it's been so many years since I've tried it, but I'm pretty sure if they're on the roof, they're treated as like outside and you don't actually have to feed them. Although the roof of your house isn't very big, so. I don't know, did I dream that up? I'm pretty sure that's something you can do. We might have to build it and uh, experiment, although I'm kind of scared I don't want to make a chicken sick either. <laughs> But, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. For a second there, I kind of panicked thinking that our axe wasn't fully upgraded. Just because the animation doesn't actually show the gold color of the axe, it just looks like the standard one. I'm like, no, it's definitely upgraded. <laughs> Getting a little too inside my head. Oh my goodness, look at me. We're running in circles today. <laughs> Let's head over to the bar and see who's around. Dun dun! I can't believe it is almost going to be summer. It's like spring has just been flying by. Okay, who have we not talked to? Gray, definitely. Oh, it's you! Why not say that with a little more excitement, man? Oh, <laughs> see, uh, he's definitely a man of few words. I understand their daughter's feelings. There are many things in the city you don't find here. I felt those longings. Oh, thank you very much. Phew, that's enough for today. I like to move around, but I'm no good at hard sports. Whoa, thank you very much. Good night, see you tomorrow. Hey, why don't you dance with me next time? I'll teach you. Ooh, Karen's flirting with us a little bit there. I love this, I'm so happy. See you later. I can't help longing for someone on such a night. Well, let's get the ax out of there before we have an incident. <laughs> oh, what, for me? Thanks. This is a place to relax. Come here any time, but don't drink too much. Alright, time to head home for the day. And I'm quite pleased. I did not think we were going to find everybody as quickly as we did, because I had like my list of recipes I wanted us to get, and we basically did them all on the first day. <laughs> Which I kind of thought was... Oh, I guess it was like the first couple of days because they didn't have the corn in the bag right away for Basil, but yeah, I thought it was going to take more of the episode to actually hunt everyone down. I guess we've just been a little too efficient. <laughs> Not a bad thing. <gasps> we are finally going to have rain, but what day is it? Oh, it's going to rain on the flower festival, and of course, it's not actually going to be a rainy day. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is, yeah, typical, hey? <laughs> the flower festival will be held in the village square tomorrow. A festival of flowers. They sell rare seeds and you can dance too. Come if you like. Well, see you later. 
<sighs> yeah, that, that's our luck lately. Like, it rains on a festival day, so it's not even... We're not even gonna see the rainfall. Hi, Luna! Do you know where Jack disappeared to? I think we said we were gonna hunt him down the one day, and we never actually did. There he is! Oh, he's stuck on weeds. No wonder we couldn't find you. Oh, the weeds are taking over. Okay, yep, we do have a brush. Let's get you all brushed up here. Alright, so festival day tomorrow on our one rainy day. Will we get lucky and have more rainy days? <laughs> Hard to say. We can only hope. Alright. Jack, you're gonna make us drop a potato. I can already feel it happening. <laughs> we'll try to be very quick about this. <laughs> it's nothing like a moving shipping bin. <laughs> wow, we did it! That, you know, that is a big accomplishment right there. Hello, Pokey. Hello, Snowy. Are you guys excited for the festival? I think we're excited for the festival. I'm always excited to see who ends up being the goddess. And then based on that, we'll have to decide who we want to dance with. All right, Pokey, milky time. There we go, into the bin. And now to check on some chickens. All right, let's get them fed first since they are clustered on the other side of the coop. <laughs> I like my little back and forth strategy here. <laughs> it's just like, you kind of just move them from one side to the other because, you know, it's just... To me, it just seems like the most logical and convenient thing to do, but then every second day I come in here and I'm just like, oh my goodness, they're all in front of the feed bins. What an inconvenience. <laughs> But it just is what it is. Alright. Yeah, I can't get over how cute the animations are for the animals. And even the characters in the game, but especially Luna. She's just absolutely phenomenal. And then even just seeing a little bit of how coding works. Like, just bare minimum for even movement. And it's like know how much work actually goes into like all of those cute little animations love it like i appreciate i appreciated it before i knew how much work it was going to be <laughs> letters are good when you find a letter in the mailbox doesn't it make you happy oh we did not grab much for gifts here <clears throat> let's go over here i'm kind of excited to see if we'll we haven't really seen the events to get the flowers on the ranch yet. But maybe we need to head to town really early one day, I think was maybe... Oh, I can never remember how that works. <laughs> but I do know that um, Gray ends up buying a bunch of flower seeds to plant on the farm at some point. And we can bump into him one day and uh, he'll be purchasing his seeds. All right, let's hand out some gifts. Oh, thank you very much. When there's lightning, lower your body and find a safe building quickly. Don't take shelter from the rain under a tree. Take care of yourself. Oh, thank you. There are many things to harvest in the mountains and you can sell them. Men belong in the mountains. Wow, we've been handing out so many gifts lately. We're just like little gift machines. Whoa, thank you. Tomorrow is the festival, right? We are happy today too. Okay, we have one more stump to chump, chump, <laughs> chop down. And uh, then we'll head over to the bar, I think. We'll also need to check and see how much wood we've been chopping down lately because we have some expansions that we are going to have to start getting done.
because we can start doing that staircase like anytime the summer storms aren't gonna really affect that at all so the baby bed and the staircase we can just go ahead with at any point in time it's just that greenhouse i think we will wait until end of summer beginning of fall and then we will finally pull the trigger on that Oh, wow, quiet place tonight. Oh, thank you very much. Potpourri is like a lovely flower that I watered and cared for, and now that it has finally bloomed, but all men are flower thieves. Are you listening, Pip? <laughs> Let's both try our best. Oh, goodness. That's why I didn't want a girl. I have no clue what she's thinking about. Hey, he is actually like talking to us are you sure thanks let's go home and get some sleep wow i think we finally made friends with them <clears throat> is that so well please do right by ellie oh thank you good night see you tomorrow anyway i hope you'll be happy you too uh, let's give you a flower today oh what for me thanks this is a place to relax. Come here anytime, but don't drink too much. It's so good to see that we're making friends with people. Like, fantastic. We've been handing out so many gifts. And it's so hard to tell with the, un the other NPCs where they're at. Just because it's not like with the girls where we get to see their heart colors change. <laughs> we just kind of have to go by feel and what they say. <laughs> All right, off to bed we go. Okay, our rainy but not rainy day. <laughs> what about tomorrow? And of course it's sunny. <laughs> okay, let's get our brush selected before we have an incident here. Oh, good morning, Jack. You know, everything is nice and watered, but, uh, yep, just no actual rain here. Hi, Luna, did you enjoy the nice little sprinkle, I guess it would have been? <laughs> Our grass is growing good at the very least. All right, hello, Pokey, are you happy today? <laughs> I like how Pokey kind of just flaps her little ears, it's adorable. Again, like just cute little animations like that. I think it's just so important. It just gives that extra love and attention in a game that every game really does need. It's those little details that take a game from being like just a game to like having a little piece of your heart in it. Okay, we're gonna need chicken feet next. run out of the barn before we have any escapees today. <laughs> okay, oh, I think we're gonna be able to sneak past the chickens and get them all fed here. Okay, here we go. Doing good. All right. Let's see how many chickens will get in the way of our egg collecting today. Oh my goodness, the coughs have just come out of absolutely nowhere. Cannot wait to feel 100% better again. <laughs> Sometimes I think I just stay sick a little too long because I try to accomplish too much. <laughs> I mean, I do rest, like I go to bed early when I'm sick and I get extra sleep when I'm sick. I do, oops, <clears throat> I do make that a priority. It's just, I don't know, it just lingers. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of part of having a small child and when they're sick, they're just constantly like sneezing and coughing in your face and it doesn't help you get rid of it any faster. Hello, Pip. The goddess and her entourage are coming soon. Okay. Those are pink cat mint seeds. You can plant them from spring to summer. The price is 300. Let's buy quite a few of these. Uh, let's do 12. Sure, why not? <clears throat> 
Hello, the seeds we're selling today are seeds I found in faraway places. Try growing some of them. Welcome, what's your pleasure? We have some rare flower seeds. Some flowers act as medicines, but many others are poisonous. I came here to buy flower seeds to grow on the ranch. Is that okay? Oh, vote yes, of course. For me, Miss Karen is the only suitable goddess. Have you voted? What? Well, of course I. What a good smell. I love flowers, but keep that a secret because boys aren't supposed to like things like that. <laughs> hey, who did you vote for? You should receive a blessing from the goddess. Wish for a wonderful year. Flowers would be fascinating to study, but I'll leave it to the experts. Did I vote? Yeah, for who? Well, for a girl, I think, is a goddess. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They say if the goddess gives you flowers, you'll live a peaceful life that year. Okay, I think we've talked to everyone now, and it's just a matter of waiting for the ladies to show up. <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Who's the goddess this year? <gasps> it did end up being Anne. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Whatever the festival, it's a good excuse to drink. Oh, Karen. The goddess costume is pretty. It is covered in flowers. Oh, <laughs> potpourri. Hello, may you be blessed. Well, oh, that's sweet. Here is a flower for you, hee <laughs> hee. May blessings come your way. Aww. Oh, I hate this. They should bring the real goddess. Don't you think I look dumb in this? You look good. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, at least I can see her as a girl. Now it's time to choose your dance partner. Uh, let's dance with Maria. Be my dance partner. Aw, Cliff being forced to dance with Anne. <laughs> I like the dancing in this game. I just think it's so cute. And the music is just so lively. It makes you want to get up and dance yourself. Do, 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 do. And spin. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. I like their little, like, winking and stuff that they do in between. Hmm, <laughs> that was really sweet. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. Alright, weather for tomorrow. What'll it be? another sunny day <laughs> I think we're like at that point where it is only gonna rain on festival days just to mock us <laughs> <clears throat> hello birdies good morning Luna what do we have selected a brush we're okay all right 24th day of spring we are just cruising right along here Finally, spring has come. Let's fill it with flowers, potpourri. Best wishes for the new year, Kai. Bluma seeds have arrived. We're looking forward to your visit from florist Lilia slash potpourri. Okay, we're going to have to get some of these pink cat mist mint. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, tongue twister. What is it with games and tongue twisters lately? Um, Sunhaven was kind of like that too with their, uh, what was it, Moo Shroom Cow, which ended up being called a uh, Moo Rel Cow, or at least there's a little discrepancy between what it is actually called. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, we'll get the animals fed and all taken care of, and then I think we'll get our flowers planted, and then of course we're going to have to hit the florist shop and check out the blue mist flower. 
Now, <laughs> if the weather stays the way it is, we're definitely going to be watering every single day, but we head out to the mountains every day anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, clippers, here we go. <clears throat> and there you go, Snowy. I hope you feel better now. It's going to be hot soon, and you won't want all that extra fur. <laughs> Okay, a few chickens in the way, not too bad. <laughs> yep, I'm not very mindful about what it's gonna be like the day, the next day. It's just whatever I gotta do to get the eggs collected in a given day. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so funny. Oh, that chicken's excited for food. <laughs> He's getting his buddies excited. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Okay, we're definitely going to need to top up our watering can if we're going to be watering. Um, we'll probably just do four bunches of the flower seeds again. Nothing too over-the-top crazy, I don't think. Uh-oh. Good job, chickens. They moved out of the way for us. How fantastic is that? I'm like, please don't make me open my inventory. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Almost have more grass ready to grow. For a second, I'm almost like, let's just water the ground now. But if we did that and then planted the seeds, we would... Uh... Okay, we have two bags of potatoes, four of cabbage, <clears throat> one turnip. Oops. And 11 grass seeds. Okay. Run, birdies, run! And these should nice and cleanly fit in our inventory here. <clears throat> Perfect. It's like we happily planned that to happen, but we really didn't. <laughs> okay. One more spot here. <clears throat> and we actually watered or planted our seeds without incident. That's a first. For the flowers, anyway, it seems. Oh, of course, we can't hold it up with the watering. <laughs> we went a little rogue there. That's okay. Alrighty. I think we already checked the mail. Let's go into town and see if we can trigger any events here. Nope. Uh, let's give Lily a flower. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello. Hmm. I'm... I look happy. Well, I am. My hubby's back. Aww. She's definitely gonna savor that while it lasts. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Well, take care. Okay. Those are Bluma seeds. It's a rare flower. Papa fam. Ask Potpourri if you want to learn more. One package costs 500. Let's do it. Thank you very much. We'll ship these out to the farm for you, okay? <clears throat> you bought the Bluma seeds. Good. Let's go to the mountain. Here. It's cool here, so I think it will bloom. I don't know if it's because of the tree covering or the fountain, but the goddess may be sensitive to heat. Okay, let me explain. After you sow these seeds, water them every day without missing a day. If you forget to water them even once before they bloom, they will quickly die. There aren't many Bluma seeds, so be careful. Don't make any mistakes. Okay, round one done. Oh, great. What do you want? Uh, nothing. I doubt a guy like you can run a farm. Ouch! See ya! <laughs> that was a little mean there, Gray. <laughs> okay, let's hand out some gifts. Oh, thank you! There is a mysterious fountain deep in the mountains. I heard a goddess lives there. Men belong in the mountains. Oh, thank you very much. Don't pick wild grasses and branches thoughtlessly. Of course, food is different. Take care of yourself. 
When you go up the stairs, you can smell the air and trees. When you go down the stairs, you can smell the earth and grass. I love the mountains. I totally missed the last line there. I got a little click happy. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> I heard a story about a bluebird in this mountain, which brings happiness. Oh, Anne's hinting now too. I guess we need to chop some more wood. What is this for me? Thank you. Take it easy. I was in lots of places before I came here. Hot places, cold places, some with fearful bees or real harsh environments. Is it okay? Thank you. Um, no, never mind. See you later. <clears throat> okay, we need to make sure we are best buds with the little sprites here in case we have a summer storm. Whoa, thank you! You know, the red sparkly thing that tastes sweet and sour, it increases your energy. We are happy today, too. <clears throat> oh, Rennie, we have one more stump. I keep forgetting to check and see how much wood we have. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Okay, chop this down, and then we will grab some more gifts so we can carry on with our little gifting venture here. We're gonna be running out here a lot in the next several days, but that's okay because we're practically out here every day anyway, so not a whole lot of change to our regular daily routine here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, we didn't gift the fisherman yet. Oh, thank you very much. You can catch more fish in the early morning. Well, life is long. We should live with a little slack. A little slack is good, but tons of slack maybe not so much. Letters are good when you find a letter in the mailbox. Doesn't it make you happy? You know, that is a very good point there. Whoa, thank you very much. Let's both do our best. Nowadays, a lot of mail that we end up getting is mostly junk and bills and everything else. I actually like to do a little bit of card making once in a while. I kind of go through little spurts of it. And uh, I like to go out and send friends and family members homemade hand cards. And then uh, they get to actually enjoy opening the mail once in a while. <laughs> I think it's a nice, sweet little touch. Oh, thank you very much. Potpourri is like a lovely flower that I watered and cared for, and now it has finally bloomed. But all men are flower thieves. Are you listening, Pip? You know, I think the person you need to talk to is Gray right next to you. Let's both try our best. Do I look worried? There's no problem. <laughs> all right, would you like a flower? That's enough. <laughs> See ya. Oh, he's not happy with us. People often say, don't repeat the same mistake twice. To believe and be, be, be betrayed means to repeat the same mistake. Okay, not true. Only if you're doing that with the same person. Um, no, never mind. See you later. <laughs> That's why I didn't want a girl. I have no clue what she's thinking about. Are you sure? Thanks. Let's go home and get some sleep. I understand their daughter's feelings. There are many things in the city you don't find here. I've felt those longings. Oh, thank you very much. Phew, that's enough for today. Oh, thank you. What do you think about Ellie? Is that so? Well, please do right by Ellie. Good night, see you tomorrow. <clears throat> Only this front hair is from my grandma. She had very beautiful blonde hair. Though, I've only seen it in pictures. I love this. I'm so happy. See you later. <clears throat> okay. Lots of gifting done today. And the blue mist seed flowers are planted. So we are on our way to getting Potpourri's photograph. And hopefully very soon we will have Maria's photograph. It's cool we got her confession. We did so much today. So many cool, exciting things happening. Let's go and see how much lumber we have before I forget. <laughs> that has been the thing I'm forgetting lately. 490 pieces. Okay. So we are making decent progress there. We'll just have to keep it up. 
All right, everyone, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.